Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not providing buy or sell recommendations. I'm just giving you my opinion. Please do your own research before investing. Hello, Crypto Cowboys. My name is Emeka and today I want to talk to you about Monero. Actually, I don't know why I'm playing Spanish music. Monero was actually initially called Bit Monero. Bit because it was a derivative of Bitcoin and Monero because Monero means coin in the language Esperanto. Who knew? So if you are somebody that wants to do transactions and you want to remain anonymous, then Monero could be the currency for you. So let me show you how to create a wallet, a paper wallet, and how to send and receive transactions. So let's get started. The first thing you do is you go to the Monero project website, which is at getmonero.org. Click on get started. If you want to generate a wallet, you go to the downloads page. You'll download the client that you will use to generate the wallet. I am going to download for Windows, but you have Mac, Linux, and other options as well. And you click download. After you download it, you'll install it and run it. And uh, installing is pretty straightforward. But once you run it, you should see a screen like this. Welcome to Monero. Please select one of the following options. If you're creating a new wallet, you click on create new wallet, and then you have your seed. So this seed is very, very important. This seed is how you're going to always be able to access your Monero. So you have to save that somewhere safe, print it out, put it somewhere safe. This is the most important thing that you're going to use to access your Monero. Next, you give your next, you give your wallet a password. So then you enter a password. You got to remember the password. If you don't remember the password, then you're going to need that seed from the previous section in order to recover your password. So remember this stuff, write it down somewhere. And now you are all set up. You have your seed, you have your password. Now you can use Monero. So now your node is set up and it's gonna start synchronizing. This is gonna take a while. So this is how you set up your Monero wallet. You can send or receive Monero into this desktop wallet. Now while this is still synchronizing, let's look at some of the other methods you could use. There is a wallet right here on the website. If you go to downloads, so right here on the website, if you go to downloads and go to mobile and light, there's My Monero. So My Monero is an online wallet. So it's online, a little less secure, but still another way for you to access your Monero. So you can come here to create numero. You get a private key, then you type in your private key. So after you type in the private key, you click, you confirm it by clicking on this button. And now it becomes pretty straightforward and similar to a lot of the other wallets. If you want to send Monero, you come here and click send. Type in the receiver address, enter the amount you want to send. And if you want to receive, you click here. Same thing. Now the third way I've been seeing on Reddit and a few other message boards is you can actually create a paper wallet using, uh, using an offline wallet generator. Now this offline wallet generator, I couldn't find a link to it anywhere on Monero's website. So I personally don't like to use it because I don't know why it's not on the website anywhere. But on Reddit, a lot of people say they use it to generate an offline wallet. So this is another option that's out there. What you basically do is make sure you're not connected to the internet. You click generate wallet, click OK, and it will give you a public address, which you give to people for sending Moneros. It will give you your seed, which you should store somewhere safely. And it will give you a send key and a receive key for uh, making payments. So, so that's three different ways for you to store Monero, access Monero, and send Monero. My client is still loading right now, so I'm not gonna get too much in detail on that today, but I'll get into it in a, at another time. Thanks for watching. Happy investing.